Hey, how you doing? It's Coach Rowan Ricketts. Today, I would like to discuss player development, a topic that's very, very close to my heart. Coaching young players every day with Rowan Ricketts Academy. It's a, it's, a, it's a discussion I have a lot with parents, players, and also coaches from all over the world. For me, young player development and player development is is something that needs to be taken very seriously and ownership needs to be taken from the player. But I also think it's important that parents have a bit of knowledge and educate themselves on this because especially over here in North America, you invest and they pay a lot of money for football. I like to look at player, player development and say that the, the, the essential areas that players need to get up to an elite level are in your hard drive. What does hard drive mean? For me, hard drive in a player is, the hard drive is receiving, manipulating, releasing. So you hear that? Receiving, manipulating, releasing. What do those three things mean? So receiving the ball is your ball control. So a ball control could be on the floor, ball comes in, you want to be able to receive the ball left foot, right foot, outside your foot, inside, sole of your feet, outside, close to the heel. You want to develop a, a, a level of comfort and ease with the ball. This is both on the floor and aerially. To do that, you can do a lot of exercises by yourselves unopposed. And then if you can set yourself certain standards and, and, and little goals, so you're always trying to beat your records, that will put you in a better position to be effective with, with, with your control when you go into a pose scenario. Next one, manipulation. It's very important that you develop good dexterity so you can feel the ball and roll it nicely with both feet. So if you're in a position where you can't pass to somebody, you're locked in a tight space, you need to be able to protect that ball well. You might just need to just keep it on the outside of your foot. You might need to roll it or do a trick to shake the person off your back just to keep them off you and to retain possession. Very important. Next thing is you might be facing somebody up. You want to have a skill or two in your locker. I think it's important to try and master five skills, but there's going to be two skills, and I like to use the word weapon. There's going to be two skills or two weapons that you're going to use. They're going to be your go-to weapons when you're facing somebody head on. Mines, well, I have a few actually. So, but mines, when I'm facing someone head on, I usually gonna do a step over. If it's 1v1, I'm gonna blow by you, step over and push it to the left. Or I can roll it with the sole of my foot, my right foot, step over and push it left. Or I could do a double step over. Or as I said, I've got other couple of tricks in the locker. Someone's on my back. I usually got my move that some of my boys, they call it the rickets. Move where I'll drag it one way and chop it back the other way quickly. So you wanna master five but you're gonna use one or two when you're in a situation 1v1 where you would go create a scoring opportunity for yourself or for your teammate. Brilliant. Next one, releasing the ball. Passing, crossing, shooting. These, these skill sets are more important for certain positions, but I think it's very important you develop good technique at striking the ball and that will relate in your passing, which is gonna be important for defenders, um, central midfield players, and then your wingers wanna be really focused on their, their crossing and their finishing, and then you have the strikers, obviously, with the, the finishing, but now you've got a lot of um, strikers that play wide, so I think it's important to maybe try and cover both your, your crossing and your shooting. Once you have a good level, in those areas, I think it's going to put you in a good position to play at a very high level. But like I said to you, you need to do to, to know if you can compete at a high level. Once you've worked on these stuff and maybe got assessment from your coach or, or Roman Rickets Academy, you you can then kind of go, okay, my level is kind of high, but who who are you kind of testing yourself against? Is it against the top kids? at your age and that's what you're going to see where you're really at brilliant outside of your hard drive there's going to be different players that excel 
and I, I would use their, they instinctively are different. So you might have a guy that's a dribbler, brilliant, he's a, he's a dribbler, he's naturally a good dribbler. Then you might have another guy who carries the ball well. So it's two different things. So another guy he picks up the ball, he can carry the ball over distance. That's a different thing. Brilliant. Then you have a guy that's uh, he's very aggressive. He, he, he's a right back, very aggressive, but he doesn't, he's very aggressive, but he's not extremely athletic. So that guy needs to have really, really good passing. Really, really good passing, because you're not really gonna be making a lot of end roads down the field. You're not gonna be getting out and maybe putting a lot of crosses in, but you wanna make sure that well, at least when you're in possession, your distribution is very good. Wide players. You might be a wide player that's great dribbler, brilliant, so you can carve out different type of opportunities. You might be a guy that's not the best dribbler, like David Beckham wants. So your crossing better be at a certain level. So I think it's very important that players, you understand instinctively what, what you do and how you think, and, and then you start to understand your personality as a player. And then I think you can start to fine tune um, certain areas and you can make your, your strengths, your super strengths, and then make sure that your weak areas are more competent. Okay, if you've got any questions, leave, leave them in the, in, in the comment section or you can send me a direct message. Coach Ron Ricketts, take care.